Welcome to Back on Our Radio. Welcome to the Drive Time Jam. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very, very lovely Ray. Um, let's get into the interview straight away. Um, no problem. When you get when did Ray get started in the business? Um, officially, officially in 2018. Um, I would say is when I really started, like made the connection with Daryl, um, started to organize on finding a uh beat to start with had daryl write the um the first song so i would count that as the real start <laughs> now I'm as gonna, as soca. i've got to say thank you to you and this is the reason why i've got to say thank you to you daryl Javay, who is uh, ray's songwriter um messaged me and said yo king i this artist and I said, well, yes, I'm all for that young artist. That's, that is what I, I like to promote young artists. He said, yeah, when could we get a run? And I said, well, what I like to do is try and pair a young artist with an established artist. And the better established artists we get, the more interest there is in the show and things and things. And Daryl said, but I write for Kez too. I said, <laughs> I said well, imagine I sent a message to Kez's manager a while back and up to now, he hasn't responded. He said, hold on. <laughs> minutes later, I say, yeah, boy, Kez, say you on. I say, right. So, Ray, you are the reason that Kez is going to be on the show a little bit later on. So, I owe you. The next time wow. I see you, who, who would have thought, right? <laughs> so, you started in 2018. You started working with Daryl Gervais. Um, what was it like? What was the feeling like when you entered into the arena? I mean, it's it's quite a daunting arena to enter into. How did you feel? Um, I think my journey has been a little bit different um, than others. And I say that to say that I started and it was almost like literally got thrown in. There was no pause. There was no, oh, hold on. We get in there. Like it was had a song. And then the thing about me is I also like to kind of move with strategy. So from the time that we had the first song, Daryl is like, listen, um, because you knew I need you to come to Trinidad and record these songs. So I was like, okay, cool. That's not a problem at all. Like I'm in it. Let's do it. I will hop on a flight. But if I'm going to hop on the flight, maybe let's kind of just like sweeten the pot a little bit and maybe let me do two songs instead of one Let we do two so that I have something to follow up with instead of come in, record a song, go back, have to come back and record a song and so on and so forth. So the lead, the follow up song ended up being work it on the totem rhythm. And that was, that was it. Like that was it. That song came out, and then next thing you know, it was fly back to do radio interviews, then fly back for the whole carnival season. Every day there was something. There was interviews. There was performances. Literally, we were going nonstop. Um, we ended up following up with another song. That while I was there, I was like, you know what? Let me shoot the. Let me make. Let me keep it authentic. Let me shoot the video for the song in Trinidad while I'm here. Like, let's do it. And we kind of literally hit the ground running, and we never stopped since then. So. I think it's been a little bit different for me. It it was a little scary because it was this idea of, okay, you're kind of testing the waters. You're jumping in and you're hoping that you get some radio play. You're hoping that you get some recognition. You're hoping that you get some radio interviews. And instead it was just like, bam, 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 bam. So extremely grateful, extremely grateful. It was scary. It was a kind of you had to put your nerves to the side and build this way because it starts, it done start. So it, it was a little nerve wracking, but fun and exciting. And, and I welcomed every part of the journey so far. Who did you look up to, you know, in terms of artists, who were the artists that inspired you? Um, definitely um, Alison, Marshall, Kess, Patrice, but I would have to give it to Patrice in terms of the person who made me say, okay, if I'm going to start somewhere, it's going to be soca. And that's because I grew up just always singing in my house. Like people couldn't shut me up. And I went to school, I studied singing. And soca has always been the thing that moved me the most when it came to music. But because I love to sing, I was a little reluctant because I felt like, could I get that opportunity to sing? And it was one day um, Patrice came to the States and she was performing and I happened to be there and hearing her live, I was like, but wait, I was like, she could sing, sing, like sing, sing. And it was in that moment that I was like, Ray, 
but you could do this. Like <laughs> you could do this. Like why, why give to yourself halfway with, like we say R and B or pop or whatever, when you could literally do both. Like you could still be able to sing, sing and still be able to stick with your culture, still be able to stay what stick with where your passion is, with what moves you. So I would have to, I would say that I owe it to Patrice in making me realize like, this is where I want to be. Well done, Patsy. Well done, Patsy. <laughs> so you talked about, you've spoken about your heritage. Um, obviously, you originate from Trinidad and Tobago. You're now living in the United States of America. What part of Trinidad uh, are you from? I am from South Trinidad, deep South, Santa Flora. Okay. Yes. That'll be real deep. It is. I mean, <laughs> my, my wife's family's from Quarry, and I'm still going with. <laughs> and that's usually the reaction I get most of the time. Like, oh, wait. I, like, it got to the point where I stopped saying exactly where, and I was just like, oh, deep South. Like, I'm from no, deep no, South. So, no, let, let's learn a little bit here, man. Let's learn a little bit. <laughs> Whereabouts? I would give us, tell me whereabouts are you? Where is Santa Flora? Um, I don't know if anything I bring up will help in the situation. Hi. Um, uh, we're literally like Jacob Settlement. Like, um, I uh, believe if I'm doing it in order, I think it's um Santa Flora. Then you'll pass Jacob Settlement. Then you're going into Saparia. Yeah, any better? Oh, hang on a minute. So you're not as far as Superior? I'm further. Okay, okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, so yeah. my wife leads from Superior. Okay. Yeah? Quarry Village. So, and you go a little bit further than that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah that's deep. That's real deep. But I love, the <laughs> South. I love the South. I love being in Quarry Village. I absolutely, yeah. everyone will know this. You know, I love, I love the vibe down there. Normally, if I'm in Trinidad for Carnival, Ash Wednesday, sometimes even prior to that. Donny Wood, go on. Yeah. It's, you know what I mean? It's, it's definitely more laid back. Um, funny enough, until I started with the music, I really I wasn't in town like that because it's a is a is a distance. So on top of that, like growing up and always going back home, at that point in time, like my family and my cousins, they didn't have vehicles, so we traveling. So on top of that, now if you're traveling, you know, taxi and them kind of things stopping at a certain time, you can't really go certain places after a certain hour if you don't if you don't have a way back. So being younger, I never really got that exposed to like town side. So now when I started this, not that I've never been, I just it wasn't the norm. You know, I come, I stay in South South is where we did everything. Maybe we reached stand or, you know, like <laughs> that was really, that was really it. And um, when I started doing this and I came for carnival, I spent my entire time in town, the entire time. And I wouldn't lie. Like I was a little conflicted, like, oh God, like from what I know in my whole life versus to what I've spent in two months, you know, with this busy fast pace, like it's a different pace. And then you have more access to everything because it's just like more city and, I, I was a little conflicted. <laughs> <laughs> the salt girl like down. <laughs> I could understand that. I could understand that. But I do love the South of Trinidad. All right. Tell us about whole day. Tell us about the House of Calypso Rhythm. How did you get on that? So um, House of Calypso Rhythm, which uh, is with DJ Private Ryan, came out the exact same day as the Femme Fury Rhythm. And it was a very, like, super grateful unique opportunity because on the same day i am on a rhythm with all queens and then i'm on a rhythm with all kings and so how that works is kind of similar to this situation it was like a daryl with Kess and like a well hey you know my artist exactly he walk in he walk in so it was you know it's just networking and I, I know that anytime he gets the opportunity to plug me, he will. And Ryan was willing to give me that opportunity, which I'm so grateful for and was pleased with the, with what he, what he received, pleased with the concept, pleased with the vocals. And, um, that's how we had the, the whole day, House of Calypso Rhythm. I am going to ask you a question, which some people will find me being rude. Thank you. I'm going to ask it anyway. How old are you? <laughs> oh gosh. I'll have to hit you like I hit them people on my TikTok. You don't ask a woman she is. You cannot ask a woman she is. But I want to know what makes you ask that question. I'm not going to tell you if you're not going to tell me your age. 
I don't think Ray realize this is my house, you know. This is Papi's house. This is my way. You want to ask a question? Cool. Um, it's a long, long time. <laughs> up this song and play it from the top. They, they, they go learn. They go learn. So don't judge me when I come out to play Cause it's whole day I walk in up whole day I jam in this whole day I wind it up Like I never see come see touchdown this whole day I set in that whole day Rail back and I'll whole day Try stop me now Like I never see come the see The big party part J is in the building Let's go! Mm, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 yeah. But this way, cause it's a long, long time I jam. It's a long, long time I walk me bumper day. So don't judge me when I come out to play, cause it's whole day. I walk in up whole day. I jam in this whole day. I wind it up like I never see come see touchdown this whole day. I set in that whole day. Well, back and I'll hold it. Try stop me now, like I never see come see. How much wine I go wine on TikTok me? I go wine behind big truck, right by the speaker box. Cause I fed up, I fed up, I fed up. And I want when I start to draw it. Not one thing hide in my face. So master mess with the cuteness, it's bare looseness. Cause it's a long, long time I jam. It's a long, long time I walk the bumper Time to come off the ground. And I can't lie right now, I need to comfort me Too much energy pent up And it's high time we link up And right now I need a release So when I come out, don't judge me please Cause it's whole day I walk in up whole day I jam in this whole day I wind in up Like I never see come see touched on this whole day I set in that whole day Well back and I'll hold it Try stop me now Like I never see come see pet in like first time First time jamming like first time First time party like first time First time party like Like I never see come see touched on like first time First time pet in like first time First time party like first time First time party like Like I never see come see touched on eh. All them online thing them cool enough But you can't feel my waist when it moving up And if I know the same when I Roll up my bumper, I know I nobody behind me. I want all a vibe in real life. No more to my IG life. See me a camera. Cause it's a long, long time I jam. jam. It's a long, long time I walk my bumper day. Time to come off the gram. She refuses to tell me her age. Good company. Too much energy. This is Ray on the house of Calypso Riddle. And it's called Hold Day. In the chat, I have asked the question How old do you think she is? Well, you have a guess. Have a guess. I jam in this whole day. I wind it up. Like I never see come see touch on this whole day. I set in that whole day, well back and I'll hold day. Try stop me now, like I never see come see pet in like first time, first time. Right, if people want to find out more about you, how can they do that? You guys could follow me on Instagram at itsray.official, and I spell Ray with an E. Um, and in my bio kind of takes you to the links to everything else you could follow me on, which is like Twitter, TikTok, uh, Whatever the social media platforms, it has my YouTube, everything is all in my bio. So you guys could click on that. I tried to make it easier for you guys. So it's Ray.official on Instagram. <laughs> okay. So a couple of people, in fact, no, only one person has had a guess. <laughs> what a guess. Now, and, and hold on, hold on. I, I need to put you on the screen by yourself. Hold on, hold on. All right, get rid of my thing here. So, um, someone has said that they think that you are 28. That's a cool guess. <laughs> are you waiting for me to confirm or deny? No, no, no. no. I'm not trying, <laughs> I know you're not going to confirm, but I just want to see your facial expression because I'll be able to work it out from that. Um, uh, okay. My daughter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> gonna be 33 okay next week 
says um, that you are 25, 26. Cool guess, cool guess. Well, <laughs> local player, isn't it? Where? 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 <laughs> um, Sammy Damien says you're 24. Uh, enjoying the guesses, it's cool. Keep them coming. Oh, Damien, she's older than 24 because she liked that one. She liked that one. You make her younger than she really is. So, <laughs> yes, she's, she's older than 24. Um, they got mid 20s. What I mean, that don't mean nothing. Mid could be from 24 to 28. She, that, that's that's not helping us here. Um, <laughs> We're not going to get much further than that with you. I reckon you're somewhere in your 20s. And the reason why I asked you the question, I will share it with you, is because your vibe is very old-fashioned. Yeah? Now, that oh. might have a lot to do with your heritage and where, you, where you're from. You know, I find a lot of people that are from the south of Trinidad um, have this old-fashioned vibe. Even now, Farmer, Farmer Nappy is one of those kind of people. Even in 2021, he's very old-fashioned in how he does things. And, like, when you mention it to him, you go, King, it's a party of eyes, boy. It's a party of eyes. <laughs> so that's the reason why I was asking that question. Um, I'm, not, I'm not really fussed about how old you are, but I just think that you have a very mature vibe about you uh, with your music in, and your knowledge of the music. So I just wanted to see whether or not you're going to confirm it. But it's cool. It's cool you don't answer my questions. No problem. Your first time on London Radio, no problem. <laughs> it, it's all right so guys please make sure you follow this lovely lady it's been an absolute honor talking to you and a pleasure um and we're gonna hear a lot more from you big up daryl gervais um for yeah, hooking this up Darryl. what 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 is in the future for ray what does ray want to happen in the future um well i i think everybody could look forward to a lot more i think one of the main things and one of the goals that Daryl and I, I have always discussed is consistency. So you could definitely expect more music to come. Um, I think we want to turn it up a little bit and we've been even discussing the possibility of an EP. So um, more videos, more music, just lots of things, more collabs with um, not only artists, but just people in general. Uh, I know right now I have the collab with Live Love Soka and the brand ambassadorship with Bad. So definitely looking for more things to happen there so i just think people should just stay tuned so you know you'll know <laughs> good stuff good stuff love that ray thank you very much indeed i'm gonna play better again which we played earlier on now before you go mm -hmm. the lyrics in the song <laughs> yes <laughs> talk to me so okay so for better, um, how that happens is... Uh, yeah, somebody yeah. Might have said you was going in the studio. No, 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 no. I'm joking, I'm joking. No, no, no. Um, all right, so for me personally, like I like to... Sometimes concepts just like pop into my brain and it doesn't have to be something that I personally experience, just something that I feel like would be dope to have an exchange with, right? So there was a rhythm and Daryl was like, what are you hearing on this? And I gave like a little, uh, a bunch of different options that I was hearing, but one of which was, I'm hearing like a, anything she could do, I could do better. I could do anything better. You know, like that kind of vibe. And he's like, we could work with that. So then we were on the phone and, you know, he was giving his input and I was like, oh, you know, but it should say this year and it should say that year. And I'm not going to say which one I interjected with <laughs> to put myself out there. But um, yeah, it was just a different um concept that I felt like I don't hear much people kind of you know it wasn't about being disrespected it's just about confidence at the end of the day you know what I'm saying and different people is going to take that song different ways the men may take it one way the females may take it another way and the both may interpret it differently but I think the end goal at the end of the day is knowing what you have to offer and having the confidence um it's not the I can take your man if I want to it, you know it doesn't it doesn't have to be that vibe um, and that's what I'm for. That I'm just all about like trying to give different concepts and do things differently. And sometimes it may be things that I could relate to. Sometimes it may not. I just may really like the idea and the concept. There's been times that I've just been sitting down at home doing absolutely nothing related to music and pop up like, oh, Daryl, concept. Like, you know, keep this one in. Like, I want to sing this. I want to, you know. And so we had better. 
You answered that very well. It's been a pleasure talking to you, and I look forward to talking <laughs> to you real soon. Don't be embarrassed. You did well. You did very, very well. That's a great. I'm not, I'm, I'm not embarrassed at all. <laughs> no way. To this song very can Listen to what you think in this song. Ray, God bless you. Everyone that's waiting for Kez is coming up in around 10 minutes. Thank you very much, Ray. And we look forward to seeing you again. Back on our radio is glad that you came on, on air and uh, we're definitely going to support you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you for having me and for everybody who tuned in. Daryl, big up, man. Deep big up. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Oh, listen to the song, listen to the song. Yeah, yeah. Cause she ain't care bubble like me. Can't give you love like me. Take the money like me. Like me. Like me. Like me. Yeah. I don't mean to be rude enough. But I see how she do ya. And her best ain't good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Maybe I shouldn't say this. But if we could have a three places, you know this would be what the case says. Mm, no, no. Cause if you ask me, I could show you what you've been missing. Maybe I guarantee everything you need, boy. You wanna tell me twice. It's yours anyway, you like it. Keep that good, good, firm and tight, me up. Just so you know. Let me serve you. Truth is, she don't deserve you. And a queen ain't gonna have to desert you. Desert you. Cause if it was me, I could show you what you've been missing. Maybe I guarantee everything you need, boy. You wanna tell me twice. It's yours anyway, you like it. That's a good firm and tight me up. Just so you know. She can't bubble like me. Like me. Like me. She can't bubble. Like me. She can't bubble. Tick tock on the earth like me. She can't bubble. Can't give you up like me. Can't back it up like me. She can't back it up like me. Bringing the Caribbean closer to you on Bacchanal Radio.